What's up, ladies and germs? David here with Solid X State, man. And uh, in this video, we're going to uh, return again, man, to the scene of the crime. Delve, if but a little bit more, into uh, this kind of brooding hysteria that is the controversy around The Last of Us 2, you know, plot leaks, in which, you know, so many people have turned their backs on what was a loved franchise. You know, nobody had a beef with The Last of Us. Everybody was captured by its ideas. And so the second game should have, you know what I'm saying? The second game could only succeed. The second game had such shoulders to stand upon. And that's why it was, that's why when the plot points came out, that's why when all of this stuff was leaked a couple of weeks back, it's, it is amazing that people are so incensed against the direction that the creators took this piece of art, you know? That, that's why it's it's a, it's it's really amazing that that it, it really says something does it not about um, what they did with this game because it was it was the kind of thing it was the kind of game man that everybody was just gonna buy without question because it's the last of us right it's earned its place it's earned its place. But it would seem that the creators at Naughty Dog, it would seem that they have thought that they have somehow earned capital, social capital, and that, that they could then take the, the following narratives in whatever directions that fancied them. You know, whatever pet projects, whatever fan fiction, right? Whatever, whatever erroneous and uh, and singular direction that they wanted to go into, they they felt that that we were just all along for the ride because we were already invested. It's like we've already bought the ticket, right? We've already bought the ticket, so of course we're gonna we're gonna go see the show. You know. Did they not count on this response? Did they not count on this response? You know, clearly, clearly they, they knew there would be people that would be unhappy. And yet, when this game hits the stores, what we're going to hear, you know, and we all know it, what we're going to hear on day one, man, it's the frickin', it's the haters. It's the homophobes. It's the incels. It's the, it's those disposable, those, those disposable, deplorable incels in our community that can't, you know, swallow the medicine. That this game is medicine. This game is supposed to show us, it's supposed to show us the balances that are progressive, the balances that are modern, the balances that are free from the baggage and the bondage of the patriarchy of the past. You know, there's so much talk nowadays about putting aside the past, you know, letting the past die. It seems like there's a, there's a theme there that the identitarians love to play with. This idea, this idea of putting down the past, like some old dog that you're going to take out to the back 40, man, and freaking put a bullet just behind the ear, right? And throw him in a pit and bury him in an unmarked grave. Because that's what it would seem that Naughty Dog is doing with these classical 
ideas of manhood, these classical ideas of the father, these classical ideas that they villainize and that they point the finger at and say, yo, the patriarchy has to be put down. This is what they've offered us. With, with the ghosting of Joel at the hands of Abby, it's as though Naughty, Naughty Dog is making a statement. A statement about toxic masculinity. It's so interesting that the feminists, that the identitarian feminists are so obsessed with becoming men. That they're, they're so obsessed with masculinity, with, with fabricating masculine women, with rewriting the roles, redefining the classical things that have always been understood to be, right? They're so obsessed with this. It's interesting that they, they never have it, they never can offer us an idea of, of classical feminism. They can never offer us, you know, those attributes of the female that are heroic, those attributes of the female that are praiseworthy, those attributes of the female that are honorable and noble and are role models for women. You know, they never want to do that. They always just want to present their version of masculinity. It's almost as though they are, they are in a way supremacists, masculine supremacists. They're obsessed with masculinity. And they were surprised that we didn't, that we weren't invested. They were surprised that we weren't along for the ride. You know, what will they do, man, when the game hits the stores? They will, they will say that the problem is with us. That the problem is, is our fear. The problem is, is our insecurity. The problem is our ignorance. The problem is, is our short-sightedness. The problem is our close-mindedness. The problem is our narrowness of vision in which we cannot appreciate the validity of the statements they're trying to make. You know, and it seems like such, it seems like so, it's so petty, man, that, you know, how is it that Naughty Dog is not able to offer a defense of their ideas? Think of that when the day rolls around and they start saying that the problem is all of these incels, all of these narrow-minded homophobes, right? When they start blaming, when they start laying out these character assassinations to somehow justify their position, you got to ask yourself, how is it that in the years of development that were spent crafting and shaping this game that has been offered to us, how is it that they do not have a more reasoned and thought out defense of the ideas that they are offering us. To criticize the character of one's critics is to fail to defend one's own position. How is it that they spent years in development and they cannot defend their position? And how do we know that they cannot defend their position? Well, we know because last week they dropped their final trailer, the story trailer for The Last of Us Part Two, And in that story trailer, you know, ironically, none of their politics were on display. None of their politics. It's as though as everything that was leaked, all of the massive plot points and the... And the 45 minutes of gameplay and everything all of that wasn't really a thing oh, that that was those were old files that's not what's going on here you know we all know that's ridiculous we all know that the final the story trailer doesn't tell the story but what does it tell us what does the final story trailer tell us it tells us that naughty dog does not have the courage of its own convictions. They don't have the courage of their own convictions. You know, they spent years putting this game together. Then stand on it. Put it out there 
and stand by your work. Don't blame people who criticize it. Don't blame people who find fault. Stand by your work. Defend your position. But they won't because they can't. Because for some reason, it's like a foundation made of straw. And as soon as you push on it, as soon as you point out its inaccuracies, as soon as you point out its faults, rather than shoring up their position, rather than, than strengthening their position, we find that it, it, it seems as though they don't have a, a position to strengthen. Because their go-to mentality is to, is to villainize, is to demonize their critics. You know, think, think of it. To demonize your critics is not to offer a defense for the position that no doubt you're seeking to defend. It is not a defense of one's position to criticize the character, to villainize one's critics. And we see it plainly in this final trailer where Abby, that controversial character, and her ghosting of Joel is, is ironically missing from the final trailer. There's no hint of it. If all we had to go on was the final trailer, then all we would think, man, this is just looks like another brutal game of people, you know, eking out their lives in this, you know, post-apocalypse dystopia that is The Last of Us Part 2. You know? It'll be interesting to see, man. It'll be interesting to see Will the creators at Naughty Dog, will the authors of these ideas have the courage of their convictions, or will they act as cornered animals and lash out at the people who find fault with their work? It may be that if they could offer a defense, if they could offer a reason, if they could offer some logic... It may be that we would think, oh, wow, I didn't think about it like that. Hmm, maybe I'll give the game a try. I didn't see it that way. Oh, you're right. You got a good point there. But they won't offer us a good point. They will only offer to dismiss and to villainize those who find fault with their game. And ironically, it, it, might, it may be a, a, a large a large majority of fans that will find fault with that franchise that won't go to the store and buy that game. You know, it's like that old adage of get woke and go broke. You know, you think Sony wants this kind of game on their platform that doesn't generate interest that just generates controversy? When will these people realize that this whole woke mentality is for the university professors to stand on their soapbox and preach to kids who've spent a ton of money to go to school? That's where that belongs, is in the, in the classrooms, so the professors can dissect their ideas, their identitarian philosophies and make much to do about nothing. But don't throw it down in our games, don't throw it down in our culture, don't throw it down in our movies and our films, because, dude, that's not where real life is. That's not where real life is. And, you know, your fan, lesbian fan fiction, you know, belongs on a bookshelf in the lesbian theory section of the bookstore in the back corner, by the zines, right? That's where it belongs. And that's fine because there's an audience for it there. There's those people that want that and let them buy that. But don't try to push this into this AAA video game that now none of us are gonna go buy and Sony's, gonna, Sony's left holding the bag. 
right? One, one will wonder what will come of Naughty Dog going forward. You know, can they afford to botch this game like they no doubt have? Yo, man, thanks for watching. Comment below. Let me know what's up. God bless. See you guys next time.